So I noticed this patient didn't seem to be aware and looked Hello? unconscious. Hello, can you hear me? I squeezed the trapezius muscle Hello. to give a small painful stimulus, but he didn't respond. So I looked, listened and felt for his breathing for up to 10 seconds, but he wasn't breathing. So according to the current protocol, that meant I initiated 30 chest compressions. Depth needs to be 5 to 6 centimetres, rate of 100 to 120 per minute, allowing the chest to recoil completely after each compression. Then I went on to two rescue breaths. It's quite hard work this on your own. So I used full oxygen, 100% oxygen. Then I went to give 30 more chest compressions taking approximately the same amount of time for the compression and relaxation of the chest, minimising any interruptions to the chest compressions, that's hands off time. Then I decided it'd be better to use an airway adjunct. So I put in a Goodell or an oropharyngeal airway to give me better airway access. Two rescue breaths, I hope help arrives soon. I did shout for help immediately, of course. I'm sure it's coming. 30 chest compressions. In the real life situation I probably wouldn't have changed airways but it shows you another airway adjunct here which is the eye gel which is a very efficient uh, airway adjunct. So I put that all the way in, connected it directly to my bag and ventilated the patient with as near 100% oxygen as I could give him. And I carried on for another 30 chest compressions. That help should be here by now, I really hope it comes soon. But until it does, I'm going to carry on on my own. I do know help's coming, so I just carry on. Two rescue breaths, and we carry on like that. 